So now let's talk about the larger BP-10. At the very front right here, you have this large kind of semi-hard um, stash pocket right here. And when you kind of open it up, it flips out just like that. So it's very, very easy for you to see all of your contents. And yeah, you just have this one large elastic stretchy pocket right here. Um, and then on the flip side, you have this see-through kind of a pocket right here. So you can kind of throw your filters in there um, or anything else that you can want to put in there. And then at the very, very top, you got two other zippers. Uh, this top part, it is nice and hard. So this would be a great place for you to throw any kind of electronics that's gonna be valuable, such as a hard drive or anything. So if you're gonna open it up, it flips out just like that. So now both compartments can flip out and you don't have to worry about your contents falling out just because it has this kind of gusseted area right here. Um, but looking at the top pocket right now, there are some elastic webbing right here, elastic webbing for you to throw in your cables to keep, to keep, keep that organized, or you can kind of clip whatever else you want in there. And then on the flip side, you also have another zippered pocket right here. It's got made out of mesh right here. And then on the flip side, it is has this kind of nice little soft material. So if you had sunglasses in there, you don't have to worry about this area scratching up. So right now it is in its compressed 25 liter state. And so you can kind of see how it's nice and conforms to the backpack. Now, when I do open it up, it's just got this one single zipper, which you kind of have to open up all the way around the bag. And now, as you can tell, I'm going to pop it open right now. You can, it gains another almost like two, three inches of, of space. So that's, this is equal to about 10 liters in size. And now to access that, there is one other zipper on the inside right here that you can open up. So now if you can either just open it from the top and you can kind of slot your items through the top like that, or if you wanted to open it up, it's kind of like a suitcase style. So you open it up and it flips out to the side and this is one huge space. And so, you can actually fold your clothes in there. And if you're traveling, you can put your clothes all in here and lay it out nicely. Or what it's kind of meant to be, like you had this one large kind of um, uh, elastic pocket right here. And this is more meant for your gimbal. So if you are gonna be using this in a professional, um, you know, atmosphere, you put your gimbal in here and you got just a lot of space. So, or for gimbal or any other larger awkward accessories that won't fit into the main camera compartment area. On this opposite side right here, there's two large stretchy pockets for you to throw uh, different camera plates or anything like that. And you also have this one zippered pocket again for you to kind of throw in other different accessories right there. So right now, this is the um, BP-10 in its expanded state right in here. And I have right there, in there, my gimbal. So I'm gonna open it up just to show you how I have it laid out. So right now, I have the uh, the gimbal right here and it's in the pocket, so I'll take that out. And then in the top two pockets right here, I have the le le gimbal legs as well as the uh, base plate. So yeah, that's how it fits. Now let's look at the sides of this backpack. So on this one side, which would be equivalent to uh, what you'd access on the right side of your body, uh, there is this top accessory, small accessory compartment at the top. So there's a zippered pocket right here and a stretchy pocket right here. And there is also a quick access pocket right here for you to access your camera. And there's also a zippered pocket inside that little flap. In addition, there is a nice stretchy expandable water bottle pocket as well as a drainage hole. And then when you flip it to the opposite side, at the top there is a, an accessory strap again to hold your tripod. If you put your tripod through here, you have your, or, so your water bottle pocket right here. And this side access is actually a little bit larger than the one on the other side. And so when you kind of open it up, there it is. And it has that same kind of zippered flap right here. And this one actually has four small little elastic little sleeves right here for you to put your batteries or any other small accessories. So now let's look at the back side of this bag. At the very top, it has a nice comfy wide grab handle. It has load lifters, but it does not have the D-ring as um, the BP-09 has. However, everything else is still the same. It has vertical as well as horizontal webbing, so you can attach whatever accessories you want. An adjustable sternum strap, and the straps themselves are nice and wide and padded and cushy. And looking at the back panel, it's a little bit different 
This one is made out of a kind of a softer material that's a little bit more cushy than the BP-09. And it also has a luggage pass-through strap as well as a side grab handle so you can grab your, hand, grab your bag to the, um, from the side. In addition to that, it has a pass-through right here for your waist belt, which is included with the bag. For those of you who do use the waist belt, it's actually very well padded and very thick and wide. So people who are going to be going on long hikes or treks or want to really distribute that weight onto their hips as opposed to onto their shoulders, uh, they're in for a treat because this thing is quite beefy and comfortable. Um, onto the waist belt, besides having just a standard buckle, um, it does have on either side a nice zippered pocket and it's actually large. It's not very small like some that I've seen. So you can actually throw in some additional accessories, some batteries or, or uh, some medium size filters in here. Uh, so yeah, this waist belt is awesome. So let's open up the back panel right now. So it's actually a very, very similar layout to the BP-09. However, it's just a little bit larger. So we have that um, laptop compartment at the very top right here, as well as a padded tablet sleeve. And it also has two large zippered pockets right here for you to throw your smaller, thinner accessories. And when you're looking at the top right here, or not the top, but however, the main camera cube compartment, again, there's lots of padded dividers, so you can kind of uh, change your different configurations uh, depending on your camera system. So now we're going to be looking at the BP-10. Now essentially I have the same camera equipment as I did in the BP-09. However, I've gained space for two additional lenses uh, and I can actually stand up the lenses um, up top. So for example, I have in addition, I have the 24 to 70 f2.8 Sigma in here. Um, I also gained space for an 85 millimeter 1.8. Otherwise, I have my batteries here at the back right here. I have my Sony a7 IV with a 16 to 35 f2.8 lens attached. Uh, over here, I have my 50 mil 1.4 lens. I uh, told you about that, that's a 7200, or sorry, the 24 to 70. I have my Sony A7R5 with the 70 to 200 millimeter attached. Also, I have the tripod foot attached as well. Just, uh, and I had the foot attached in my other, in the other bag as well. Uh, and this is the 85 and also this is the 24 mil 1.4. So as you can tell, I do not have this camera bag overly crammed. There's definitely, you know, space for everything. You know, nothing is too jammed up in here. And just overall a much larger bag backpack for me to fit, um, you know, my, my uh, essential kit plus even more. So anyways, these are the new backpacks from Ulanzi. So if you're looking for something a little bit more minimalistic, but yet um, you can carry a, a decent amount of camera gear, then take, definitely take a look at the BP-09. However, if you are a working professional and you need to carry lots of stuff, as well as you need to have extra space for either clothes or a gimbal, and you want that expandability option, then definitely the BP-10 is gonna be the bag for you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you wanna see me do more of these, please like and subscribe, and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.